Witnesses describe a chaotic scene that went on for hours and well into the early morning. As you can see, the roads are still blocked off as police continue to investigate this corner house. That's where they shot and killed the man who allegedly started shooting at them with a rifle. It started around 11 Thursday night. A fight broke out between neighbors in this residential area off Northeast 71st Street in Vancouver. It quickly escalated. Hey, there was a lot of happening last night, yes. Witnesses told police one man fired a gun in the air and slashed tires of parked cars. Alex was repairing his the next morning. We didn't work today for that reason. And now we're going on our way to fix these tires because they were slashed with a... A knife. Once deputies arrived Thursday night, the suspect threatened to shoot them and armed himself with a high-powered rifle, firing several rounds heard throughout the neighborhood. And it was like one o'clock again, we heard bang, bang, and then we knew something was up. I was thinking, wow, we're lucky no bullets came this way. Video from a doorbell camera shows the SWAT team arriving. It was around 1 a.m. when deputies tried to confront the suspect from inside that armored truck. And as soon as we opened the back door, we hear the cops say, don't reach for that gun, and then we got nervous, so we closed the door. The suspect then shot at the armored vehicle, nearly shattering its windshield, forcing neighbors to shelter in place, like this woman, still nervous the next morning. Kind of shook us up a little. Shocked, honestly. More than an hour later, so around 2.30 a.m., a Vancouver police officer spotted the suspect inside this home, apparently wearing a ballistic helmet and gas mask. That's when an officer shot and killed him. I think they t took charge and, and the situation's under control. It's just amazing, though, how, how it got out of control at that time. Now, two Vancouver police officers have been placed on paid administrative leave, the one who shot and killed the suspect and another who was inside that armored vehicle when it was hit. No officers or neighbors were injured. Back to you. The chaotic scene there. All right, Blair, thank you so much.